Hello everybody, welcome back to lecture 3 of Excel. I hope you guys are all doing well and everybody is keeping warm and healthy. Today we're going to have a look at the first of the formulas which is to deal with numbers. But let me first show you where this activity is. Once again we go open blackboard and we go to content under content right at the bottom there we will find practical Excel basic formulas now a formula in Excel is going to automatically calculate some numbers for us you will see this how it works as we go through the lesson I am going to open that very bottom link and we have here Excel exercise 3 there is a question paper and there is an Excel spreadsheet for already there for you guys to work on. Let's first take a look at the question paper. I'm not going to read the whole thing. As you see, there is a multitude of questions. Now, please be aware, some of these questions and some of the activities inside the questions come from lecture 2 and lecture 1. So you may find yourself having to go back to lecture 2 and lecture 1 to just work out those features such as borders, um, auto fit and so on. Bold, italic, center, align. What I'm going to deal with today is just the formulas which is auto sum, maximum, minimum and average. When you are finished with your workbook and your worksheet it should look as the following now what we are going to do is under here for example under injuries we are going to give the totals then we're going to give the maximum that can be found here under injuries and as you see here it's 12688 and we will show you the formula that will do that then we have the minimum and then we have the average finally we have the totals at the end now this is not the totals of this column this is the totals of these columns okay I have downloaded the spreadsheet already. Let me make this a bit larger so that you can see clearly. Okay, what we do are going to need to do today amongst the other questions. I am just going to deal with the formulas. We have at the top of your page here, we worked with page layout before, we worked with data before. Today we are going to be working with formulas. And pretty much the rest of Excel, we are going to be working exclusively with formulas. And it says there, insert function, which we will deal with in a subsequent lesson. And then it says there, auto sum. Now when I click on auto sum, so please be aware I'm under formulas and I've clicked on auto sum. There is a theta symbol there. We will have the sum, average, count numbers, maximum, minimum and so on. And we are going to be using these today in today's lesson. I think the easiest thing for me is to show you how they work. Now please be aware I do not need to do this for every single row. I'm going to use what we did in lesson 2, that item called the full handle to copy down. So let's take a look here. I am going to click where I would like my answer to be. And what I want to do is I want to add these up to sum them. However, at the moment, if you have a look at your answer sheet, these are all in currency. There's a RAND symbol before that, so we need to change that. So I am going to highlight wherever I would like currency to be. I'm going to press my control button on my keyboard and highlight that. 
then on top of my selection I right click I choose format cells I go to number and there is my option for currency so I'm going to choose currency you may leave it exactly as it is with two decimal places and it shows a rand I'm aware some students will get the wrong currency there because the settings on your PC are set to another country and Windows will automatically pick up the currency of that country. If that does happen to you, do not worry about that. When you're working on the CPUT computers, they are all set to South Africa and there will not be a problem with that. I'm going to leave it at two decimal places. But first, let's have a look what's in the answer sheet. Yes, you will see your two decimal places there. So I'm going to leave the defaults and I'm going to tell it OK. And it is now displaying it as currency for me. However, we have these hashtags here. Now all that means is the number is too long to show in that cell. The number is there, but it is too long for the width of my column. So I would go to the end of column G where I have the problem and I would double click and my number is now showing because I've auto fitted that column. Right, time for our first formula. I'm going to click where my total is. I'm going to go to formulas and I'm going to choose auto sum. And what I would like to do is add up injuries to car accidents, the amount that it, that has cost. So I'm just simply going to choose some. And please be aware that we are going to not only be using an automatic function, later on we're going to be typing in these formulas manually. So it's actually telling me that it's, Excel has helped me and it's picked it up and it has said to me already, the sum of C3 to G3 and I am happy with that so I simply press my enter key and it is going to give me the total there now I don't need to do sum here again and here again and here again and here again which is quite tedious I would be doing the same thing over and over so I am going to use click on the cell where the formula is. If you want to read the formula in the cell, you can double click on the cell just to check your formula that it is correct. If you want to get out of there, you press escape on your keyboard. So I've highlighted that cell now and I'm going to move, not till I've got that, not that, but the little black cross which is my fill handle, which is to auto fill. Now this is where the power of Excel starts to show. I simply click and I drag down and it has put in all of the formulas for me to add up all of these columns. That is pretty cool that Excel can do that for me. One thing to do when you do use the fill handle is check that it is C4 to G4 and we are on row 4 let's check the last one to make sure that it has happened correctly and we are on row 11 and that is on row 11 so I am happy with these figures the next thing I would like to do is to work out the totals so once again formulas auto sum I'm going to choose sum, which is to add up. But now Excel has made a mistake. It's included the blank cell. That's not what I want. I do not want C3 to C12. I would like C3 to C11. All you need to do is take your mouse and drag over the relevant area. And it will add up for me C3 to C11. I press enter and there is the amount. And once again, because it is sum, I can use the fill handle. 
Once again, I have a problem. The number is too big to display in the cell. I double click at the end of D. I double click at the end of E and I double click at the end of F and it will then show me the relevant number. The next one that I am going to use is, uh, I didn't check this, let's just have a look at my formula that is correct. It is G3 to G11. And it is the sum of G3 to G11. I am happy with that, that it is calculated it correctly. If it doesn't, you may have to do two and then use the full handle to give it a clue. Okay, the next one I would like is very simple. It is my maximum. So I go back to auto sum and I'm going to choose max for the maximum. Once I've chosen max, Excel has not picked it up correctly. It's trying to tell me the maximum of that. I do not wish to have the maximum of that. I'm going to drag with my mouse. I wish to have the maximum of that, which is C3 to C11. I can press enter and it has given me the number. I may now use my full handle again. There we go. Check the last one, maximum of G3 to G11. I am happy with that. Once again, the next one that we do is I would like the minimum. And there we find it, min. And it again, it has picked it up wrong. It's trying to help me, but it is not helping me correctly. It doesn't understand fully what I mean. So I am going to highlight what I would like the minimum of, which is C3 to C11, press enter, and there is our figure. 1957 is the smallest number in here, and it has picked it up correctly. I don't need to do that again here and here and here. Obviously, we are using our full handle. Check once again the final one, that it is finding the minimum of G3 to G11. The minimum amount here appears to be 70,000 Rand. No, sorry, it's not. I am looking for the minimum, which is 32,300. And there we go, it has picked it up. Finally, I would like the average of these columns. So I click where I would like my answer. I go once again to auto sum and I'm going to choose average. It has picked it up incorrectly once more. I just drag with my mouse and highlight C3 to C11 once more. I press enter and I may use my full handle. And there we go. We have our answers. Check the final formula that it is G. It is equals average of, in open bracket, G3 to G11, which is our range. Finally, I would like to sum the totals. And fortunately, this time it has picked it up correctly. So it's C13 to G13. I can simply press Enter. And I may use my full handle to copy down. This, students, is the power of Excel using formulas and the full handle feature. Please be aware you will need to put your borders in. Please go and have a look at Lecture 2 and Lecture 1 again. They are posted on Blackboard and I will show you where if you go to content we go into what we have covered already which is lecture 1 and lecture 2 of Excel you need to do exercise 1 of formatting and watch the lecture 1 video you need to do exercise 2 of formatting and watch the video and only then can you begin with your Excel exercise 3 of formulas because in our questions, if I make these a bit larger for you to see, 
they are asking you to change row heights and apply borders and so on and then they are asking you to use the auto sum feature which is what we did today and then when they said click and drag I have shown you that in the video they are specifying the cells every time remember the C3 to C11 then dragging the criteria across using the full handle and there is our maximum minimum and average please feel free to watch this video as many times as you would like in order to understand the concept of what I have been showing you. That is our lesson for today, students. I wish you good luck. Please feel free to ask any questions on the WhatsApp group and the lecturers will be happy to answer. Please remember to refer back to the videos if you get stuck. They are our class lesson. I hope you guys have a great day and a great week and we will speak later.